Yeah, last time on Persona 5 Royale. Come to think of it, I haven't responded to the rest of the messages. <laughs> Run! <laughs> I mean, you have a chocolate fountain in your room. <laughs> what are you saying, Hexen? Quick access? You dirt. <laughs> no. No. Don't be thinking what I'm thinking, even though it's fucking ingenious. No. You will not do that to the chocolate fountain. Ryuji eats from it! I mean, Yusuke eats from it. Come to think of it, I haven't responded to the rest of- RUN NOW! JUST RUN! RUN! Why are the lights rainbow colored? I have multiple notifications. RUN! JUST RUN! Weren't the girls supposed to give chocolate to the guys they like yesterday? RUN NOW! <laughs> even- even Chicky's looking at me, she's going like... RUN! <laughs> Just run! Hey, are you going to be okay? <laughs> run now! <laughs> Why aren't you running? My gentlemanly nature is making me worry about you. <laughs> Oh god, everything that I feared is being amplified now that Morgana is expressing it. No, no, no. Hey, what did you do? No! 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 Cheeky, no! help me! Outside the store, is that- Oh no! The moment I feared! When they realize! Run! Run now, you bastard! Whoa. Run! Sajibro, hold them back! Pull a Gandalf! I saw the light on in here last night. <laughs> He's cornered! <laughs> Fuck! The two older girls have the top stairs covered, and they've got a martial artist covering the front door, and the kitchen is a dead end. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> and Haru looks like she. Oh god. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> oh god. Ah, oh, isn't it wonderful? Isn't it wonderful? It's going to be time for memes. It is such a wonderful time for memes. Who doesn't love memes? I like memes. Do you like memes? I like memes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're here with Kuma. Now, as you all know, we have finished Persona 5 Royale Blind, which means we can watch the Persona 5 memes and all the scenes and cutscenes and events that we didn't do in our playthrough, including the Christmas, uh, including um, uh, New Year, um, including Valentine's, including all that, all that good stuff, all that good stuff that we didn't do in our playthrough. I absolutely loved playing Persona 5 Royale. It is going to feel weird not listening to the opening song. We've been listening to it every single Saturday since... March. It is now mid-October, so I am probably gonna go nuts this stream because I haven't heard the song yet. It doesn't feel like the weekend started, so I'm gonna go through a little bit of a withdrawal period, but I'm hoping that the memes will help. So let us binge on these and then hopefully begin the withdrawal period which is probably going to suck. Now, as you can see, I've downloaded all the videos you guys have requested for this live stream. I'm sure we have more than enough to keep us busy. Can we listen to it just once before the reaction? I mean, why not? What's the song called? Uh, Persona 5 Royale? Opening. Let's, let's do it one last time. A little bit like a goddamn drug addict. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. 1080p because this is this is basically gonna be the last time <laughs> The DNA of the soul memes a hundred percent. I I am going to miss this so um 
let's let's enjoy it. You know it's a good goddamn opening when you'd never skip it. It's a little bit like Game of Thrones. You just watch it and enjoy it. And yes, I will upload this whole stream on YouTube. I will try to fight off the copyright claims, which we will inevitably get on a lot of the later videos. Which is why we're going to start with all the cutscenes and scenarios and events that we didn't do in our playthrough. So that if anything does get cut, it's going to be stuff that's later on in the stream and not early on. Because... YouTube is how it is, right? They just let everyone and anyone claim. I mean, at this point, I could just fucking go and claim PewDiePie if I wanted to, and he's gonna get the copyright. I, it's fucking ridiculous. I'm sorry to swear, but don't get me started on YouTube's copyright system. Do not even go there. Um, alright, where's a good place to start? All Christmas Eve, Lavenza Orla Out Attack, or White Day. Do we have um, all Hawaii dates? Yes, that's one of the earliest events. I remember we spent it with Anne because obviously Anne was the only girl we were dating at that point. Bow chicka wow wow before we turned into a man whore. But you know, let's not do any slut shaming. Guys can be sluts too, don't deny it. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see all the Hawaii dates because I wasn't aware that you could by that point have many girlfriends, but then again, I left Makoto till a lot later, because, you know, I mean, Kuma's a one-trick pony, right? Alright, here we go. Let's enjoy it. I'd love to go for a walk on the beach. We're in Hawaii, after all. I can finally take a photo break for my job, too. If you don't have any plans, would you like to take a walk with me? I kind of wish this guy, or girl, whoever's playing it, doesn't go through text so quickly. Because, like, I gotta read. I'm finally done with work for school. I'm exhausted. I could really use some de-stress. Oh my god, what a man whore. Do you want to meet at the beach? Oh my god, the man whore. What? Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh yeah, she was... Yeah, you find out she was there? Was she there? Damn! Well, in hindsight, you know who I would have picked if I knew what I do know now, but it is what it is. I heard that Shujin is here in Hawaii, so I wanted to say hi. My school is giving us some free time to do as we please. Care to walk along the beach? It might help with new moves. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What was the message earlier? Was it from Futaba? Wait, don't tell me. Was it a girl? Come on, you gotta make some memories with us instead. We bombed it on the beach in Japan, after all. Ah! Oh. Really? Thank you. Should I wear a swimsuit? Well, see you later. We're meeting at the beach. I should hurry. Alright, so at this point, to unlock this, you have to already have the rank 9 or rank 10. No, wait, you can't get a rank 9 or rank 10 with Hafumi this early into the game. Can you? My god! Sorry to ask you out here so suddenly. 
Yes, you can. Oh! <gasps> Being a chaperone is more difficult than I expected. We've had a lot of meetings. I. Am I swear to God, this is exactly the style of bikini that Hachan likes to wear. Except she usually has like a red or pink one. Um, so like, I'm just like, what? I honestly wanted to contact you earlier, but this is the first free moment I've had. <laughs> Go for it, son. That sounds lovely. All right, then. Let's take a walk. Oh, a food stand. Garlic shrimp. I've heard that's a famous Hawaiian dish. Hachan loves that too. Are you adventurous when it comes to food? Oh, I'm always adventurous. <laughs> Not just when it comes to the food. All right, I I'm going to stop. Let's just enjoy the cutscenes. That's amazing. I always just stick with the standard fare. Ah, uh, vanilla's never fun for huh? long. Let's give it a try. That's the attitude. All right, come on, shut up. You're from Japan? Uh... Yes, we are. How about them phantom thieves, huh? The guys that steal hearts. <laughs> I'll tell you, stealing my heart. How do you know about them? Heard about it on the news. They're all the rage in Japan, yeah? Seems like we're even making headlines abroad. Say, if you run into them, tell them I say hello. And ask them to change people's hearts so everyone loves shrimp. <laughs> uh, uh, of course. I'll do just that. Oh my god, that is a lot of shrimp. That's amazing. I'm... I... 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 Okay. I, I, one thing that gets me. Why does he get two separate dishes? You're supposed to get one dish and share. That's what couples do, right? What is this? Or am I been doing everything wrong up until now? How beautiful. Oh, it's already so late. My sister would be upset if she saw me laid back like this. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I wasn't particularly eager to go on this trip. But if it's like this, I think I'd like to come again. Yeah. Um, I'd like you to have this. Tiki keychain? Small wooden keychain. Dignified, yet warm expression. It's reminiscent of Makoto. It's not the best souvenir, but it will remind you of the memories we made today. <laughs> Thank goodness. God, you are a monster. Well, we should probably return before it gets dark. I suppose I can't complain about that. Oh my god, now that I realize that the two of us... Uh, Bast in the sunset Hawaii together. It, here's the thing, right? Just me and Makoto. Oh, so you didn't go back to the hotel room. Here's the thing. Imagine, well, we spent this time with Anne. We spent, was it Christmas or New Year with Hafumi? I think it was New Year. And Valentine's Day we spent with the boys, but then went with Kasumi. When you really think about it, we spent three key dates, three key moments with three different girls. For these girls, this would be like a highlight of their, you know, growing up teen years. And we're spending it with three different girls. We are a fucking monster. We are not only being that shitty boyfriend that, you know, fucked up that school semester for them. We're that shitty boyfriend that either fucked up the Hawaii trip, fucked up Christmas, fucked up New Year, fucked up Valentine's Day, fucked up White Day, or all of the above. No, no one linked me the Valentine's Day OVA. But thank you for mentioning that. That would have been a great idea. We are worse than Kamoshida. We would have a palace much bigger than Kamoshida's. And all, <laughs> our boss persona would probably be Mara at this point. Because we are a giant dick. See, we already did and before, so bump and a bump and bump with Skipper. Kawa, Kami. 
Oh, this should be interesting, because, you know, she's older, right? Wear your bathing suit. We'll need to blend it with our surroundings. We're meeting at the beach. I should hurry. What was I supposed to? Uh, reaction request thread or persona thread? I basically downloaded everything last night. It's nice to finally have some me time. I've been so busy lately. Seems like Kawakami has been waiting for us here. Hey, what are you looking at? I don't know, my teacher in a swimsuit? I appreciate your honesty. Nani? What did he actually say? Your swimsuit? Oh my god. No, me and Joker are not. This is not happening. I wasn't even looking at the screen. I was looking at chat. We are not. Me. Why does it always happen that after playing a game, me and the protagonist just... This ends up happening. This shit right here. It always happens. I appreciate your honesty. So, um, let's oh. take a walk. Oh, yeah. Let's take a walk. Notice how her underwear is basically Ooh. falling off. It's not all the way up. Look, garlic shrimp. You, you can see the little, like, muscle V-line. the local delicacies is an absolute must on vacation. Don't you think? Yeah, is that what you say to all the little boys? Right? Hey, mister, two orders of garlic shrimp, please. Oh my god. I think I'm craving a beer. Why does drinking on the beach have to be prohibited in Hawaii? So let me get this straight. Not only are you dating your underage student, but you're about to get him drunk. And your underwear's basically falling off. No slut shaming, Kuma. Wait. She technically does work as a sex worker. Whoops. You two from Japan? Jesus. Yes, we are. How about them phantom thieves, huh? The guys that steal hearts. <laughs> wow, you're very well informed. How about this? While in Japan, the age of consent did not exist for a while, and in certain parts of Japan, it's only 16 now. So even as an adult, you could date a 16-year-old legally. However, Hawaii still falls under the jurisdiction of America, which means jail. But because she's a woman, get this, she wouldn't get jail. There's been cases of teachers sleeping with their primary school students, which is the equivalent of grade school in America. And guess what? They got off with community service. They didn't even get put on a sex registry. But if you're a guy, get this, and you date a student that's even a month under the age of 18, straight to jail. Do not pass go, do not collect 200 Kuma coins. Now, I'm not saying sexism is a thing. But sexism is a thing. So, like, you know. Heard about it on the news. They're all the rage in Japan, yeah? You're quite the celebrity. Say, if you run into them, tell them I say hello. And ask them to change people's hearts so everyone loves shrimp. <laughs> okay, I'll let them know. You know what shrimp is code for when you're talking to guys? Uh, I'll let you guys know if you can answer it in chat, but ladies, I apologize in advance. Kuma, have you never noticed how Kawakami's confidant is basically restoring her life as a teacher, only to put it in danger by dating her because we're a student? Alright, a shrimp basically means, or a prawn, is basically someone that has an attractive body, but an ugly head. You know how you remove the head off a shrimp before you eat it? Basically that. Uh, another one that I actually learnt from uh, my sort of Japanese uh, training buddies was starfish. A starfish is basically someone that, when it comes to sex, they're basically like a starfish. They do nothing, and um, it seems to be <laughs> it seems to be quite the you know <laughs> cliche when it comes to Southeast Asia. They could be they could be amazing dancers. They could be all, you know, confident in everything, but behind closed doors, the lights go off and starfish, and you're just like, fuck. By the way, you two honeymooning here? Oh my. 
Come on, let's go. I swear one day all this footage will be used against me in a court of law. It'll be like putting Trump on trial. It's gonna be an internet meme. Oh, it's been years since I've seen something so beautiful. Say not as beautiful as you. Say not as beautiful as you. Say not as beautiful as you. I was having so much fun. I hope no one saw us. Although, what? I wouldn't back down if someone actually confronted us about it. Oof. To tell you the truth, I'm worried that you're lonely because of the position I'm in. Oh, if yes. If that's true, then I'm sorry. Visit more often. Visit more often. Oh, my God! So See what I, I mean? See what I mean? Anyway, this, this is shit. my first time here. Hawaii is really nice, isn't it? This shit Let's right here. Let's some time. Just the two of us. This shit right What did I tell you? Here, take this. I, I, I am basically thinking like Joker right now. Kuma, Joker could pretend to be legal. He would have tricked Kawakami when he first found out she was a maid. Except she knew That's him. the power of a paycheck. Just kidding. It's to commemorate today. Oh, I bet you know the power of a paycheck, Mrs. Maid. I mean, what? I just sent you the OVA. Was Do you want to download it? Not a good idea. I can take a look. It's gonna get dark soon. We should head back. Wait, this is on YouTube? Holy shit. If you say so. We might, oh, we might be able to watch it directly. At the end of this one, we take a break, I'll download it. The two of us headed back. Oh my god, Kawakami. You you and your you and your maid master thing. I mean yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> That, that, that complex between Joker and Kawakami, I mean, you, because typically in the bedroom, people like to be the polar opposite of what they are in life. And you would think Kawakami would like to be in control, considering how little control she has over her life. Yet, in the bedroom, she's the polar opposite. I mean, I know it was her night job, but you would think with her significant other, she would like to explore, you know, the other side of the coin, but she seems not to. So maybe she's just naturally really submissive and she likes to be taken advantage of. I don't know how much she's been psychologically abused, but it's kind of sad when you think about it. I'm so happy. I'll be waiting in my swimsuit. Oh my god, this is why Hifumi is like my favorite. Hifumi is... Hifumi... Man, Hifumi is like... You know what I mean? She's basically like a can of soft drink that you keep shaking. And it's just ready to go. All you gotta do is pop the lid. And she's just like... Pow! You know? Like, the ones that are in church are, are the crazies. I know that. You guys know the story of my first... You know. So, I speak from experience here. The more religious, the more crazy. No, no, no insults to anyone that's religious. I come from a deeply really religious family and I uh, went to an orthodox high school and I was even offered a scholarship to become a priest. So I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I was one of them crazies. <laughs> We're meeting at the beach, I should hurry and change into my swimsuit. Oh boy. I didn't expect to see you here. It's quite a nice surprise. Seems like Hifumi's been waiting here for me. Um, do I look strange in this? Perhaps I should go change. If you have no idea what girls I'm talking about, I share a lot of stories in our Danganronpa playthroughs. Watch Danganronpa 1, 2, 3, and V3 and Ultra Despair Girls, and you'll, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, and you may even cry a few times of sadness, but, you know, that's something you gotta go through. You look great. Oh, oh my fucking... You, you sly dog. You sly dog. Huh? Yes. Oh, thank you very much. What a sly dog. Um, shall we take a walk? Oh, looks like they sell shrimp. Shrimp are symbolic of living a long life. Shall we have some? Was that a death threat? Imagine if Haram Joker had different swimsuits for each I girl. I wonder how they'll taste. So if they're seen together, he isn't recognized. Yes. How about them phantom thieves, huh? The guys that steal hearts. 
You've heard about the Phantom Thieves? Heard about it on the news. They're all the rage in Japan, yeah? Say, if you run we'll into try to watch it before we finish up this section. And ask him to change people's hearts so everyone loves shrimp. <laughs> sure. Garlic shrimp. The owner gave us an extra pile. Oh, they're quite pungent. Pungent? I thought she was going to say big. <laughs> oh boy, we gazed over the ocean while we destroyed the shrimp. It's so beautiful. But not as beautiful as you. This is a refreshing break from staring at a shogi board all day long. Come on, I say feel it. As if I'll be able to come up with some great new moves once I return home. Were you bored spending time with me? We would have had a more enjoyable time if I had made better conversation. Find the way you are. You sly dog! You are always so kind. You sly son of a bitch! Um, this is for you. I would be delighted if you remembered this day. Oh, trust me. You're both going to remember this day after tonight. It looks like a turtle. Something about the transparent stone reminds me of Hifumi. If only we went to the same school. Yes, I'd like that. Come on, seal the deal, son. The sun is about to set. We should start heading back. Seal the deal, son! Yes. Seal the deal! A little, a little trick, like uh, saying a little bit longer, do you want this? You want that? Do you want that? And, and it's really sneaky, and I know a lot of pickup artists like to do it. It's called conditioning. Uh, and a lot of salespeople do it. They start asking very easy, basic questions that they know the other person's going to say yes to. And then they keep moving it up, moving it up, moving it up. And then at the end of this series of yes, 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 that's when you pop the sale or you pop the major question. And because the person is so conditioned to saying yes, their impulse is to say yes. It's very unethical, but lawyers do it, politicians do it, salespeople do it, pickup artists do it. It's a very... It's basically a glitch in the brain. Humans are not as complex as people think they are. So just be aware. When someone's getting you to say yes or to agree with them for a while, ask yourself why and ask yourself what's coming up. Are they trying to sell me something? What do they want from me? And you'll find most times, like if you're curious about it, just go to a phone store and start asking them about a plan. And if you're negotiating the plan, they'll just be like, oh, do you want this? And you'll be like, yes. And da -da -da -da. Yes. Da -da -da. Yes. It's like, oh, do you want the extra thing for $5 a month? Yes. You know what I mean? Uh, they, they totally fuck you like that. You hear that, Kuma? Hifumi was supposed to be a phantom. Th oh, I know. We discussed that during her free time. She was supposed to be, but they scrapped the idea. I'm running on empty, man. Behold. Whoa. A saucy, zesty masterpiece. Ain't nothing better than this. <laughs> Get out, dumbass! Here you go, my tree! Yeah. Yes, it's all good. It's 